present, friend in word, in care, in speech, in faith. Now let us continue our instructive conversation on Anapanasati Pavana. All development of mindfulness by means of breathing. <coughs> Now we have come to the fourth chapter of the whole set. The fourth chapter is the heart or, it, or essence of the whole system of Anapanasati. <coughs> now we will. <coughs> Begin uh, from the very beginning, that is uh, the exercise of one, exercise uh, two, three, four onwards. <coughs> As I have told you, at the regulation, every time we start the practice, we have to practice uh, from the very beginning, <coughs> the first exercise, second exercise onwards. But now we have to come to the first beginning of the step for some special purpose <coughs> that is to know it well. Each, 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 each object of the, each exercise uh, to see it as a person uh, to look and see the truth of impermanence, impermanence, anitjang, anitjang. <coughs> this exercise uh, it is uh, 13, the 13. Upon the truth of impermanence, called in Bali as Anicca Nupati, <laughs> seeing thoroughly on impermanence. <coughs> Impermanence <laughs> in Bali and its tongue. I'm not sure that a good equivalent to each other. <clears throat> Impermanence means uh, chanting, chanting. <clears throat> Perpetual chain, a perpetual flop. It is a temporarily rising, residing, ceasing. <laughs> All this temporarily arising and then deciding <laughs> and then ceasing. Arise, decide, and see. That is uh, the stream uh, of impermanence or anicca. Now we have to have uh, in our mind the twelve objects uh, of the uh, first. Twelve exercise of the whole set. Uh, from the exercise of one, we have an object as a long breathing. Exercise of two, we have a short breathing. Exercise of three, 
you have all body, breath body, and flesh body, the size of four. We have the coming down uh, of the condition of the body. And then exercise of five. We uh, have rapture, uh, an object, you speak. We have object of happiness, uh, seven, we have the function of the feeling, uh, conditioning the mind, uh, and the head coming down, the power uh, of the conditioner of the mind, uh, and then uh, the nine, exercise nine, we have the attitude of the mind in all aspects, <laughs> as we have the cut. <coughs> exercise ten, we force the mind to be joyful, eloquent, we force the mind to be stable <coughs> and twelve. We force the mind to release <laughs> the object that uh, it uh, attached to. <coughs> you will repeat these uh, twelve objects <laughs> of uh, twelve exercises. Now, <clears throat> at the exercise of one, we <laughs> experience the breath itself uh, to know it impermanent and the longness of the breath is impermanent, shortness of it is impermanent. <coughs> Death body impermanent, flesh body impermanent, <coughs> relationship between the two bodies impermanent, the conditioning of the breath body to fetch body is impermanent. You have to repeat now and then, now and then from the very beginning. <coughs> Even the fetch body calms down and down. The fetch body is impermanent. The, the action of coming down of the uh, breath body and such body is impermanent. Uh, even the result uh, of the conditioning is impermanent. Uh, at the first, that breath uh, of four exercise, uh, we can see impermanent various form, various ways. Only to see, <laughs> look and see yeah. the truth of impermanence uh, of all these objects. Repeating it, <laughs> the breath itself, the longness, the shortness, <laughs> the feature of it, uh, the influence of it, the breath body, fetch body, relationship between it, the conditioning, to each other, the coming down of both body, and the sound uh, from the coming down. Every object, every bit of feature of it, 
having the characteristic of impermanence. And then we come to the second tattet. We have a rapture in the mind. Seeing the impermanence of the rep of the rapture or the feeling of rapture or the feeling of the happiness. <coughs> the future, the result of it, in front of it, and the conditioning function of the feeling <coughs> to the body and to the mind. The result of conditioning to the mind. Every object, every Heart object is impermanent, <laughs> impermanent of various form, various way of the second statement, that's it. Now we come to the third, third, that's it, uh, on the mind itself. The thing, the my, the my, <laughs> the thinking, the thought, every aspect, and the my of every aspect, as a habit, have, 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 with lot and without lot, having anger, without anger, having illusion and without illusion, as that, so on. <coughs> Even the joyful mind. The mind is impermanent. The joyfulness is impermanent. The table mind, the mind is impermanent. The tableness is impermanent. <coughs> Releasing mind the mind is releasing the object attached before, the mind is uh, impermanent. The action of releasing impermanent. <coughs> we know well about the mind, the mind itself impermanent. The cause, the base uh, of it impermanent. <coughs> the manner uh, of ceasing impermanent. And then uh, from twelve exercise of three tetrets, we have uh, we, we have uh, knowledge of impermanent various way, various form, various aspect, various uh, feature. Repeat this. At the <laughs> exercise at twelve. <laughs> now we can see and not the truth from the truth of impermanence. This exercise uh, having the name of uh, seeing impermanence, but it uh, includes uh, some other truth in the in the uh, the exercise in the exercise. Uh, because uh, impermanence uh, can give us uh, another knowledge. <coughs> you will see this. Because uh, everything changes are uh, impermanent. The impermanence of it causes us 
to endure <laughs> some <laughs> some problem cause us to endure some prof some problem because of impermanence of that then we can see the truth of dukkha dukkha the term dukkha uh, may mean the pain uh, suffering this satisfactoriness or misery misery in whole sense it is dukkha after seeing anicchang of impermanence we can see dukkha uh, misery <coughs> because of we cannot stop uh, the influence of impermanence Uh, we have to suffer. We cannot uh, command it. <laughs> we cannot govern it because uh, there's no we <laughs> in essence. This is the called not self. The life is not self. Because uh, cannot cover, uh, cannot govern uh, the impermanence and the misery, no, no man uh, can command it. <laughs> That is the meaning of not self. If we in a self, a real self. You have to be able to control it to govern it. No, not being able to control it, then regarding it as not self. After that, we can see all things. Under the In front of impermanence, suffering, and not self, and it can be called it's a going on natural way, going or existing on the natural way, natural way. a m a t t i t a t a Difficult for you to remember it. No need to remember it. h a m a t t i t a t t a going or existing on the natural way. That is uh, impermanent, uh, misery, not self, because it goes. Only in natural way, and call it k a m m a n i y a m a t a going or existing under the natural law, natural law, impermanent suffering and not self. Natural law on being going under. Natural law. <coughs> And it go under the law of i t a p a j a y a t a This term equivalent to you as a p a t i j a s a m u p a d a dependent origination. The real name, full name of it is i t a p a t y a t a p a t i j a s a m u p a d o Everything had to go under the law of cause and effect. We simply call it 
casualty, casualty. <coughs> After seeing all these facts, <laughs> we can see realize uh, completely that all these things are void of self, void of self, having no self. <coughs> Call it the sunyata. It is a state of being void of self. After that we can see, oh, all things go in such a way, such a way. We call tathāta, suchness, suchness, thusness only, tathāta. <coughs> Having real life, Tathāta, we can see another <laughs> supreme truth, ultimate truth, and final step, which called Atamayata. No need to rely on it forever. <laughs> now we see there's no need to rely on it forever. It means the cause or condition that we have relied on it until now. Now we feel no need to rely upon it forever. All these are the result of seeing impermanent. Then it concludes in the Exercise 13, seeing impermanent. Give a reason of seeing more, more, more truth until <laughs> atamayata, last strength, even in the circle of high Buddhism. And this term strength to them, but it is in the, uh, the word of the Buddha. Atamayata. <laughs> the <coughs> enlightenment of the mind that from now on need not to rely upon these cause, these conditions <coughs> forever. <laughs> All these uh, is of, are of uh, exercise 13, exercise 13, <laughs> rather one. <laughs> The scope of practice. Repeating it again. <laughs> Seeing impermanent. From that we can see the truth of suffering. <laughs> After seeing the truth of suffering, we can see the truth of not self. After seeing not self, we can see in the truth of all things going or exiting hmm. on natural way. Hmm. And then seeing all things going and exiting under the natural law. Hmm. And all of these called the law of casualty. Everything has to go under the law of cause and effect. Mm. Now we can see 
clearly, clearly the truth of why, why need of self, of sunyata. And then we can see the truth of suchness, thatness, only that, only such, not, not more than like this. Tathata, call it Tathata. And finally, having realizing the truth of Tathata, we can see, we can know, can feel, can experience the truth that from, new, from now on, we need not to rely upon this uh, condition, this thought, however. That's a strange for you. If I name it in Pali, it will be with the tape of ta, 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 ta. Anicjata, impermanent, tukkata, maithri, anattata, not self, tamatitata, going in a natural way, tamaniyamata. Going under natural law, it has patiata, the law of causality, sunyata, why of self, tathata, suchness, atamayata. No need to rely upon it forever. Only tathata, tathata, anicata, tukata, anatata, samatitata, samaniyamata, itapatyata, sunyata, tathata, atamayata. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ta. <laughs> ta in Pali means uh, the state of being, the state of being. <laughs> now it exercises 30. You have to practice this. <laughs> The whole night, two nights do you can <laughs> exercise the key. <clears throat> now we come to exercise fourteen. See in <laughs> The fading away of attachment. The term virakhanupatsi, virakhanupatsi, uh, seeing the fading away. Fading away of what? Fading away of attachment, as we have had before. <coughs> fading Fading above, fading on and all. Fading away. In final. Fading above, fading above, fading above until fading all totally. Fading away, seeing the fading away. Vijrakanupati. Like a die, a die, yellow die. Die to the plot. Now the die fade out. Oh, uh, fading, 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 fading until no yellow color <laughs> can be understood by the simile. <clears throat> now we feel in the mind and that attachment or the result of it as a dukkha begin to fade, to fade. <coughs> now present time in the mind, realizing the fading away of attachment and dukkha. Then we can Look and see after, after the past, in the past attachment, in the past time. <clears throat> we have much 
attachment. Now we can know that that attachment uh, can be faith, can be faith being, can be faith being in the same way. Even in the future, we can have attachment to fading away, fading away. And by this practice, the same practice, <laughs> see in advance that we can have it fade. Fade uh, down, fade <laughs> down, fade down. Fading about <laughs> until fading away, doing away with it. <coughs> that means of fading. <laughs> I did not know a good equivalent uh, in English as to the term. And <laughs> then I have to use the word fading, fading. You know yourself. Fading, little bit, little, little, little bit, little bit, little, little, little. <coughs> this is the exercise of 14, 14. By mean of seeing and it's done in the exercise of 13, we can have a reason of fading away of attachment in this exercise of 14. It aligns uh, to it, depends on it. The exercise of 14 depends on the exercise of 13. Now we come to the exercise of 15. 15. Seeing the extinction. The Pali term is only seeing extinction. Now we have to know further that extinction of attachment and dukkha. In Pali, nirotha nupatsi, nirotha extinction, nupatsi, seeing clearly, totally. Seeing distinction, seeing the distinction <coughs> the distinction if uh, temporary uh, temporary not complete, we call it atankama. Cannot stand still, cannot stand still. Being a bowl, not stand still. Not complete acting. What is the meaning of it? Acting, exiting. Temporarily, only, called Atang Kama. And if acting completely, Full scale of extinction is called Nirota. Extinct without remainder. Without remainder. Now we have to, 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 to kind of uh, extinction temporarily and ultimately. Now, attachment. <laughs> Maybe in the way of temporarily or uh, ultimately can be of the two. <laughs> Some time only extinct temporarily and then come again. <laughs> Even so, it's a good <laughs> for the beginner having it uh, out temporarily and then repeating it, repeating it and then it is acting ultimately and finally (coughs) 
Rather, maybe it's a stranger for you that in Buddha Dhamma we regard extinction is an part of part. Element. Element. <laughs> element. Simply element. Element of extinction <laughs> rather than the center for you. Element of extinction. As a whole, we have a three element form. Element. Element which have form. Formless element, element with formless, <laughs> is formless. And then element of extinction, the extinction of the first two elements, the form, formless. Form, element, formless, uh, element uh, can be extinct by means of the element of extinction, the third element. Now the element of extinction <laughs> doing the function of it is an extinction to the attachment of our own, suffering of our own, of the mind, <laughs> not, not our when you say I or my means of the my <coughs> exercise of fifteen seeing the extinction of the attachment. <coughs> the thirteen seeing impermanent. The fourteen, seeing the fading away of imper- uh, our attachment. Fourteen, seeing the extinction of attachment by means of seeing impermanent. Mm. It can give uh, an extinction uh, to the <coughs> attachment. Now we come to the last exercise. Exercise 16. Treeing the throwing back. <laughs> it's a bit in the way of simile throwing back. Before this, we <laughs> attach something regarding it as I or my. Uh, that is the action of a robber. <laughs> robber something from another one to be as a I or as my. After seeing this, <laughs> seeing this, Seeing impermanent, seeing fading away, seeing extinction. <laughs> we cannot have it as our own. <laughs> have to throw it back, giving back to the real owner, <laughs> the nature, the nature. Stop the being of a robber. The way of speaking in similar way, uh, throwing back before this, getting in, getting in, now uh, throwing back. Pati nitsakha nu pati, literally it means uh, throwing back only. Uh, so throwing of the thing we have got have it as I or my. Back means back to the real owner, to the real owner, the, 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 the nature, 
throwing back to the real owner, the nature, <laughs> the last exercise. This is the realization, this. <clears throat> and then we know, 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 now the mind, <laughs> throwing back <laughs> on this, that thing, and the mind free from attachment, being free uh, from attachment. And then being free uh, from influence of a silesa, uh, being free from influence of dukkha, suffering, misery. <clears throat> And no, at that time, knowing at that time that now, <clears throat> we come to the last practice. <clears throat> we call it from Machan, from Machariya in Thai, from Machan Pali, from Machariya. Prafit Pramachan. <coughs> virtuous, virtuous practice. Prama, virtuous. Jariya practice. Virtuous practice. We come to the end of virtuous practice. <laughs> oh, of the humanity. And know, in, knowing that, now, now the mind released, released <laughs> from all things. And that is uh, from the world, from this world. That is uh, from the influence of this world. <laughs> Not is uh, from the globe or the earth <laughs> or the world, <laughs> but from influence of worldly thing in the world, or worldly thing in the world. And then we call it new life, new life. And the life beyond all influence of positiveness and negativeness positive wisdom and negative wisdom. Beyond the influence of this pair of what's fit. <coughs> if you are a Christian, you can say that you are out of the influence of good and evil. <laughs> of good and evil. <laughs> the command of God to Adam and Eve. You will not eat this fruit. If you eat, you will die. The fruit of the tree of good and evil. Now we can be beyond up in front of good and evil. New life <laughs> in Buddhist way. Even in the Christian way. If a real Christian want to be beyond in front of good and evil to do this. <laughs> this is the exercise. <laughs> the last exercise of the whole set uh, of Anapana state, development of mindfulness by means of breathing. Now you can see the whole system of Anapana state practice <laughs> divided into four groups. <clears throat> the first group, the fruit upon the mind, uh, upon the body. The second group upon the way the na, the conditioner of the mind. The third group on the mind itself. The fourth group upon the tamma, in wider sense of all things, all things. 
All things <coughs> can be summarized on body, feeling, and the mind. Or even the mind body. <laughs> All these things under the, the meaning of the single term of Thamma. Thamma means all things. But in essence, means the, the, the thing <laughs> that give us problem and the way to be beyond the problem, to resolve all the problem. <clears throat> now we think of uh, three Sikha, and I Sikha, Dean Samati Panya, training, training, <laughs> three training. <laughs> but the Sikha means the education, education, education of the meaning of body term or uh, the Thamma term. Three training, three Sikha. You have heard these three words, Sila, Sila. Samadhi and Panya. Seen Samadhi Panya. Morality, concentration, insight, wisdom. These three things <laughs> include that, being included in these 16 steps of Anapanasati. In the 16 exercise of Anapanasati Pavana, you can find Sila, Samadhi, and Banya. Morality means uh, a commanding the mind to do the job, uh, to do <laughs> the really yes job, the supreme job. Uh, and the mind concentrated upon the object uh, called the Samadhi and the insight, intuitive wisdom uh, from the concentrated mind uh, called Panya. Sila, Samadhi and Panya can be found in the whole set of the 16 step of mindfulness development. <coughs> it looked like uh, it will take much more time than we can endure. Someone look at it as a uh, will take much more time and go away. <laughs> now try to endure to practice it bit by bit, bit by bit. If we have it in the correct way, <laughs> it will not be difficult. <laughs> it can go, it can go bit by bit, bit by bit. Not too much time. <laughs> take too much time, adequate time to do this. <laughs> now, it was a while. <laughs> What uh, the practice uh, uh, to have a new life, <laughs> to have a new life. As I'm sure, I'm sure that all of you come here to seek uh, a new life, <laughs> life beyond in front of positive wisdom and negative wisdom, to be free, to be emancipated. <laughs> from all problems, physical way, psychical way, mental way, spiritual way. The <laughs> practice <coughs> of anapana sati bhavana is the development uh, of mindfulness by means uh, of breathing, everything in and everything out. Yes. 
after we have this cut, we repeat it in memory, in remembrance, the 16th step of four group, a group of four. The fourth group on the body, the second group on the feeling, the third group on the mind, and the fourth group on the thumb. <coughs> the word thumb in essence uh, means duty, thumb means duty, <coughs> duty to save us. <laughs> from death, from dukkha, from suffering, duty. We have duty to know this, anicjang, dukkhang, anatta, sapata, sunyata. That it will help us to be beyond all the problems. <coughs> we should need <laughs> the system of anapanasati. <laughs> the development, the development of the mind, we can say. In reality, development of mindfulness <coughs> by means of breathing. At first, on the breathing itself, Breathing in a bit, breathing out itself. And after, on the truth, any truth, depending on the breathing, on the body, on the mind, on the life <laughs> itself. <coughs> but every stroke of breathing, and then we call all 16 steps as anapanasati. Because we have to have some truth, some fact of truth, any kind of fact at every stroke of breathing. Means that it depends on the breathing. And then every step, every exercise called anapanasati, depends on breathing. And not uh, only upon the breathing, Merely, only the beginning upon the breathing, the body of breathing, then upon the tamma, dependent to the breathing, and can be shown, can be clear uh, at the, the stroke of breathing. Now, I finish the conversation. I think it's the best thing to speak to you, uh, friend in birth, decay, disease, and disease. Wish you to have success on this practice. <laughs> Worth a while coming here to Suan Mok. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> good listener, to my speaking English in the way or Chinese speaking Thai. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you.